<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Oh, you guys are just a bunch of loving souls. You know, it's so great when you have humans with their hearts open and full of love. Isn't it cool? I mean, the power at this level that a human can generate is unbelievable. And so it's uh, really neat to see so many loving souls out there. Um, no one's supposed to know what the 13th is, so would you guys stop it? Thank you so much. Is that not an incredibly beautiful card? I mean, that, in, that invokes this you at, at leaving the physical world. Uh, of course, the dream catcher catching dreams, but thank you so much there, dears. And this beautiful card, too. Uh, thank you so much, so much out there. I love you all. Thank you, uh, but we don't want to know what that day is, okay? <laughs> oh, this, I hope you all are well. And if you're not, let's get well, okay? Uh, I know some of you are struggling to get through this, and uh, but you're doing fantastic. I know the Facebook is just roaring. <laughs> but, you know what? It's going to temper you guys in how to work with people and each, each other. And to give each other space and uh, respect and... Um, you know, and get on with the healing art there. So you guys are incredible. You know, uh, I have just one thing to say about don't sweat the small stuff. You know, there, there's nothing, I mean, when you look to the Supreme Being in its entirety, it's perfect. When you look at creation, you're, you're moving between two poles, like protons and electrons, you know. So you have to just realize that. And nothing, there's nothing exact, there's no exacting science to this. Although in time, there just might be some of you real brainos out there can, uh, you know, put this together because I love the science and practice of, um, of detoxification. It's another book that I'm working on. And uh, it's more of an art, in my opinion, than a science. Science it backs it in every way. When you look at chemistry and you look at magnetics and you look at anionic and cationic environments and... Uh, you know, you can get down to the atoms and the exchange of electrons and things like this, and you can prove all of this through chemistry and physics. But there's so many theories out there and idealisms that it's better just to go simplistic. Then the mind isn't bogged down with all this intellectualism and you don't get lost again. Because in actuality, simplicity is the best way if you want to keep your spiritual fortitude. If you're an intellectual, then, you know, you can have fun in those fields. I don't chastise anybody. Tear it apart all you want. The, but be careful you don't get too lost there because typically this happens. And you've seen this with people on the YouTube. You know, you get too lost in concepts and ideas. Some of us have just been here a long time and through a lot of these theories and concepts of natural health and um, come out on the top of this and sifting through the crap and the illusions and the propagandas and the misinformations and the theories and what is actuality. And actuality is taking place as we're sitting here or standing or whatever you're doing. Uh, uh, it's uh, taking place. Look, open, the, open the doors and windows and look outside. It's all taking place. So theories can be theories, but actualities, you know. Uh, so a lot of you are seeing the actuality of detoxification. And I'm going to try to go over some of these uh, more important. Uh, and not that none of your questions are, are as important as another, because I love every one of them. So I appreciate that. So not to cut anyone, of course. But some people here have some some problems here and those of you if I can't get to you or I'm not getting to you please repost and put repost and that way I'll know to grab that one because it is overwhelming with the questions here there's no question about it and it's a time problem with me and then the class coming up it just becomes more of a time problem this is a a, a, a nice um, um, email from Daniel uh, this is another rock and roller man. Uh, what do you got there? You got a six string there. Uh, this guy's a rock and roller. He's been uh, three months fruititarian. Practically all fruit, low fat, green juices on occasion. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he's uh, burning 24-7. I am starting to freak out. I have been on lymphatic one, kidneys, batter one, pancreas, stomach and bowels one for a month, brain and nerve one week, astragalus single tincture, like that one. 
uh, for one month for adrenal tincture gave me the high blood pressure symptoms yeah that's the problem with that one so I'm going to eliminate that out of that even though it's, it's so good for low blood pressure cases no question um, and maybe maybe I could keep that one and put for for low blood pressure only uh, let me see fungus can experience a constant burn in the stomach well listen no no I heard you say in one of your videos uh, if if one has fungal infections they can experience a constant pain in the stomach no no I didn't say that um, if you have sulfur you have a constant pain in your stomach like that but you don't have sulfur my friend uh, when you you sent me your eyes here which is probably the best thing you could do um, I can't I need a closer picture but you definitely have stuff going on in your stomach matter of fact you burned your stomach uh, a little bit here because you I mean I'm just gonna it, it, at, at this level of picture it appears that you have uh, broken down some of the stomach tissue and you want to really remedy this one because that uh, I mean these are some of the signs where you're walking towards stomach cancer so you want to unwalk down that road and um, this is a case where you absolutely stay off of all protein and I'll say this is that when you experience nausea or pain even with the fruit you got some things going on here in the stomach and that it isn't the fruit that's doing it it's your body that's problem so you've got to fix the body now you can use marshmallow tea slippery elm tea hill all tea if I was you my friend I would be sucked down the hill all tea I would sip it and drink it off and on all day long and let my stomach heal stay away from the acid fruits stay sub acid or sweet fruits melons uh, you know just cool off down that line even with salads I'd be very careful super chew them um, uh, juice of course you juice your greens and stuff but you might have to take it a little slower with the juicing because hitting the stomach with that much power could cause you but if you throw up okay good you probably need it tell you the truth because there's something going on in your stomach these eyes aren't close enough but there's a lot of black immediately around your pupil that's never favorable uh, so this is something that you're burning and of course burning is an acid burn fungus doesn't deal with that fungus is just a microbe that deals in fermentation uh, you're burning because of acids and so what I can see here um, in your right side you definitely have the big time kidneys and it might even impact that whole right leg but it definitely impacts the kidneys and adrenals here and then when I get to either the coccyx the lower spine or I see the bladder there's there's more problems going on there so you really got to get after those kidneys and get that lymph movement you have some malabsorption obviously you have some interstitial lymphatic constipation in the bowel wall but you've got some black stuff in the in the uh, stomach area immediately around your pupil you should have a nice round pupil and if you look at your eyes you've got black uh, immediately around there I don't know how close you're going to be able to see these guys I don't I don't know I don't have anybody in here helping me but he has black immediately around the pupil this is the dude the guitar player so this is real important to uh, Daniel that you fix this and get this uh, healed up there the stomach and bowel formulas are great uh, if you can tolerate lymphatic one capsules I probably would I'd start out with one maybe three times a day move up to two then maybe move up to three if you can tolerate them um, but uh, definitely some hill all tea or slippery elm marshmallow tea is what I would do to start healing that stomach wall again get down to those kidneys and really get those kidneys and, and adrenals up and start filtering it's real important that you do that. I think you're real sensitive with the blood pressure because of the kidney weakness going on there. Uh, left side still, same type of picture, kidneys, but then I'm picking up the groin and the hip here on that side. Maybe a little left testicle on that side. A lot of uh, sinus there, and um, we're getting up toward the upper neck here on the left side. Uh, but you got pretty good genes here, so... Uh, you just got to move limp, get the kidneys back in order, and fix that stomach. Fix that GI tract there. Something's burnt you there. Um, so stay away from all proteins. Um, just watch what you're ingestion, ingesting uh, from an acid. Your blood work here looks pretty good. A little high bilirubin, of course. Uh, but, you know, with the stomach like that, uh, 
I just see, uh, I mean, it's hard to see the gallbladder from here, but definitely looks like there's a little black. It looks like you have a spastic bowel right at the gallbladder region, which would mean there is a genetic weakness in the gallbladder there. Um, so uh, that could be part of the problem. So you want to, I would also kind of pick up my liver gallbladder with a formula, at the same time go after my stomach and stuff. I don't think the pancreas is at issue so much, maybe. Uh, better eyes, closer eyes, we'd be able to pick that up better. Creatin is not bad here, so I'm, I'm pretty good with that. All your white blood cells, red blood cells, everybody looks good there. Uh, so that's what I would do. His normal blood pressure is 104 over 65, so you know he runs low with, um, with the uh, adrenals there. But you, you see that. So this guy's from the UK. Uh, this is a, oh, this is a Ouija bird. Hey, my friend. Yeah, I just talked with you. Yeah, yeah, you, thanks for the pictures and everything. Um, you've got to heal that stomach up, my friend. Thanks for sending this here. I appreciate that. Uh, and uh, I get to see what you look like there. That's what's nice about the, even if you didn't have the iris, though, it's enough to say that if you're consuming fruits or herbs and your stomach is giving you a fit, you got a problem in the stomach. So it, you can't, sometimes we tend to blame what we're consuming and not blaming the, the body and its condition. And we need to understand that anybody should be able to suck down a whole bunch of fruit and everything else like that and go right along. And if you can't, you, you know, you got to work, you got to work yourself out of that. When you have this kind of burning going on, when you feel a burning, that's acids. It could be alkalis, but you know, you'd be way up there. So these are predominantly, we could, I think we could safely say these are acids. And of course, acids are found in the lymphatic system and cell waste. So this is uh, problematic when we uh, look at it that way and understand that this all ties in with the lymph system. Now you can burn the stomach when the pancreas isn't producing enough bicarbonate or the liver. Uh, so really, I would pick up my gallbladder liver and get that in a get that a little healthier at the same time. Cool down that stomach and stay on the cooling uh, uh, fruit. This is a 19-month-old. Uh, they want me to do a video on this one. Uh, this lady is suffering, and I want to appreciate the donation. Someone sent in a hundred dollars. Uh, I don't know if people want me to give out their names or what. Another person sent in fifty. So I, we have two cases. This case is one of them. We're going to help the other case, although you know you can only help so much. But uh, another case that's real exciting to me. I'm going to talk to her this morning. This sounds exciting. She's a she's a young woman in a wheelchair. I don't know if she's a quad or paraplegic. Uh, she does have some upper arm movement. Since she's been on raw, she feels her toes. That means she can get up and walk. So we need to get her and get her walking. And that's a one one uh, case I'm going to take on myself because I want her up walking. This is a 19-month-old. I have a question about children's nutrition and herbal supplements to help heal my son Charlie's digestive tract. To give up a little bit of, uh, of history, let's see, is 19 months old and was diagnosed with a food protein sensitivity. Good, to get him off of all. Well, you know what? Nobody handles the insures and the baby's formulas and stuff like this. And I've said this before. Somebody ought to take insure on and sue him for... for uh, um, false advertising. You get a bottle of crap hugging on fruits and vegetables in the refrigerator to give people the thought that when you're drinking Insure, it's just like eating fruits and vegetables. That's a lie. And that, that's just uh, unacceptable type of advertising. And that's the kind of thing. If your product's good, stand on its own two feet. And you just can't prove that. You can't prove a chocolate leaf uh, uh, goo, uh, uh, chemical goo, is the same uh, magnetics and chemistry ratios of, of fruits and vegetables. That's ridiculous, and that's what you were, what they were insinuating.